kind of got in at an awkward spot here. Halfway up a run. So I'm just going to try and fish it downstream as best I can. There's a fish. The second cast nymph under dry there on the orange tag. When I do turn up to a new spot like this, I really like to have two rods set up, nymph under dry and double nymphing. It's just a nice way to cover the water quickly early, fish a few different techniques and just try and work out what the fish actually want. So in a flat piece of flat water like this, nymph under dry is really easy and comfortable to fish. So I hook that stick. So I'll nymph under dry this, then start nymphing some of the more pockety stuff up there. I'm feeling this nymph under dry water. So I fish through all that lovely fast stuff. So uh, zero tape. So maybe they just at the moment want to be in the soft stuff. Still haven't quite worked out how to catch them today. Haven't found the exact water type they're in. Haven't found any consistency so far. I mean, I, my gut feeling is they're in the slow water. But then there's lovely bits like this where you don't seem to see a fish. So, yeah, I'm a little confused at the moment. But it could just be really cold as well. That's the other thing. But really, there should be a fish there. On that trip. I finally, I've just finished a Polaroid one here and he's just sitting up on the edge of this sand on the edge of the gravel so I've got a single nymph on. Got it. He swam down to eat that, that was amazing. He's quite a nice fish. I didn't get the cast quite right keeping away from all this timber. He's a nice fish. Very lovely fish. And he is really fat. Really fat. That is very cool. Very awkward currently. That one's kind of sliding around the corner. So there's going to be one, he should be on that seam though. That's about the drift. Oh, that rainbow just ate the dry there. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. That take was amazing. Look at him. <laughs> and there's that dry nestled in the corner of his mouth. It popped out now. Wow, well that was a surprise. I didn't expect to find him. Oh, gosh, did he want that or what? Surely not again. This fish won't eat again. Oh, he had a look at it. Oh, he did eat it again. Oh, it's a nice fish on the dry. Ah, just what a surprise. <laughs> really lovely looking fish. How's about him? Thank you, Mr. Fish. Well, that's him there dry for everyone if you didn't see that before. Amazing, can't believe they're eating it. The water's high. You can see how high the water is on the bank, like it's broken the bank in a lot of spots and I mean I'm struggling to catch them on nymphs but they're in this soft stuff and they're happy to eat it dry it's amazing and that is why I should probably just sight through fish through this stuff because I get I can't help myself and then I get stuck on the rock and I have to walk in and it's a nightmare gosh stuck on a log so and that's deep 
So I think this stuff here in high water in the cold is just way too fast. There's no effort in the hold. I haven't managed to, I haven't seen a fish in that sort of water all day. Oh, and there's just one in there. I just scooped. Oh, what do you do? They just push so tight up out of that current. Got him. That's a really nice fish. That's the one I spooked and I was just trying to teabag in there. Oh, as he's trying to run out. I need to just free spool him. Get this out. And you see him there. You can see his tail. Damn. Damn, damn. I am so disappointed in that. <laughs> well, I just finished fishing my little session there. Fished from 12 until 3. And I found it really hard. It was really hard. So I'm sorry there wasn't more action in it. But there were still some really interesting takeaways, I thought. We had fish eating a dry in the really cold water. The surprising spooked that fish and then he came back and ate a worm. Um, when the water's cold and high, so naturally they're in the slow water and they push to the edge, so that's quite normal. But I mean, the thing with the big takeaway I found is if I fished here again, all this kind of water here, this sticky stuff, I would probably leave that and just sight fish it because what I found was I fished it and I spent about a quarter of my time stuck on the bottom on sticks and it was a nightmare. And uh, the only fish I caught in that sort of water was when I saw them first. So I think I would save a lot more time and be far more efficient if I just walked up had a look through it, made the easy cast maybe, and then pushed on because most of the fish were in, you know, this kind of water here, um, in some of that slower, more mid-paced, normal, you know, the easy nymph under dry water. So yeah, I thought it was really interesting, but I need to get back. It was hard. The other thing, I didn't actually find this river to be very Euro nymphy. It didn't really feel like a European nymphing river to me. Nymph under dry is very suitable. As you can see of what I'm walking through, most of the water is flat. The bottom's quite sandy with fine gravel, so it's not too broken, not too complex. So nymph under dry in future for me is what I fish here, I reckon. Ooh. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe, please, guys. And if you have fished the Murrindindi and you know it well, and you have some feedback for me, I'd love to hear it, because it was challenging. I know it can be really good. Um, but yeah, love to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.